Hey, what is up you guys? I am here today with dry ass hands. I'm gonna put on some lotion first. Got these blue faces on my plate, I can't get all, yeah Brand new sweater going with the ones, don't lay some more, yeah Had to hit up, I like what you doing with that dog, yeah You know that I do, you right, can never go and dog, yeah I've been losing sleep over dumb shit Better at the function, but I couldn't go function I've been with my bros, had to get up on some grown shit You ain't bust your paper, then don't call up on my phone Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very requested video for my sunglasses collection and I'm going to show you guys that today and I'm gonna model it for you guys and show you close-ups as well. I hope you guys enjoy it. I am actually missing one of my Celine glasses in this video and I am missing a Chanel pair because those are actually getting converted into regular glasses. So this is just going to be a sunglasses video. It's not going to have any of my regular glasses in it at all. So that can be put into something else because it's probably going to be a really short video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. The first pair are these Louis Vuitton's 1.1 Millionaires. And I got these in, I believe, 2019 and my husband had purchased them from the Louis Vuitton in Crystals in Las Vegas when Virgil first took over. And these glasses are just amazing. They have the mirror reflective lenses, which you can't really tell in the camera. But I also got the, I believe, Western fit because they have the nose pieces. Since I don't have a nose bridge or a high nose bridge rather, they fit my face better and they are a little bit wider for my chubbier face. I love how it has the gold monogram and all the detailing really on these glasses are just so amazing the fit is amazing these are really those glasses that tell people yes bitch i am it and i just love them so much they are such a good pair of shades the second pair are the Louis Vuitton 1.1 Millionaires in the Grease Marble. And guess who is obsessed, guys? That is me. I love the shape of these. And God, with the marble, they're just amazing. It is a gray, dark gray, white marbling, and it's just amazing. These have a black reflective lens. Again, hard to see on camera, but it's absolutely amazing. And it has the silver monogram hardware and again the details on these glasses are just amazing i love them so much i can't wait to add more colors but this marble i couldn't pass up the one i do regret not getting are the green marbles from the first collection with the white next are my very favorite and most used pairs these are from dior and they are called the dior hits they are a flat top but i love them because they also have that silver reflective kind of ombre styled lens and the reflection on this is very obvious compared to the louis vuitton pair these are very lightweight i love how big they are they make my face look smaller which i always appreciate they are very simple as well with this just the dior name on it on the sides of the frames but they're very light i love them and i just realized it has a little cd on the top as well but if they made these in different colors I'm in it up next are these Celine flat tops and these are in the smoke gray frames with the ombre black lenses I actually have these in a black frame as well with the black all black no ombre lens however those are missing must be somewhere with my Louis Vuitton monogram pochette clay that I can't find at the moment but flat tops from Celine are 
popular. I remember when I first seen these, one um, of my old clients had these in a black and when I saw it on her, I just thought it was such a great update to the popular thicker brown tortoise shell ones that came out a while ago. So of course I went and I tried them on. I got these from, I believe Nordstrom and they're amazing. They're so lightweight. They Speaking of the original Celine flat tops here, I have them in the more popular colorway, which is the black that gradients into the tortoise frames with the ombre brown lenses. I love these so much when I first had got them, but I stopped using them because someone from Nordstrom, I originally bought these from Nordstrom. She wanted to try to make it fit better on my face, but instead she made the frames crooked, the legs of the frames crooked, and it barely folds down. It's still beautiful, but I just don't wear it. This pair of Celine has been my very first Celine that I've ever got, and it is an all black acetate frame with a slight cat eye. I haven't worn these quite a lot because I do have others that I wear but I still think she's absolutely beautiful for my first pair. I believe I had got this either at Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom but I as my first pair I, I actually really liked it. I wore it quite a bit. It has the Celine on the arm there with the three dots. The newer pair I believe have the three dots or the two dots in the front of the frame. Next up are these Chanel pairs and I have to say this was the biggest upsell of a eyeglasses or anything that I've ever had and I'm so happy that she upsold this to me because how she sold it to me was saying, hey, did you know that these glasses, the lenses are dipped in 18 karat white gold and I was like, ding, 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 I am sold. I love these so much. I think when I first got these, I just would not stop using them. They're just beautiful and you can see like the little de detailings. You see that it's framed with the white gold around or silver as well. All I know is just that the lenses are dipped in the 18 karat white gold. They're just absolutely stunning and I just still love looking at them. This pair is my newest acquisition. You've probably seen it in my previous online haul shopping video. And these are the Gentle Monster and Jenny collaboration called the Cuckoos. And they are absolutely beautiful. I don't have a full tortoise shell styled in this color so I'm happy to have them. They're lightweight, they're beautiful, there's a gold ring so you can put on any accessories that you want on there. If you want to see more check out that video. I will link it above. Here's another pair of Gentle Monsters that I had got a couple years ago and they are a pink and white kind of tortoise shell marble styled with the silver lenses and these are probably one of my prettier pairs of glasses that I have. They're just absolutely pretty. I love just the pink marbling or the acetate that goes into the detailing of these. They have the Gentle Monster in gold, that V logo on the arms. They are still very comfortable, great for my face. And here another Gentle Monster pair. Can you tell I love the style of these? We have them in a clear frame with blue reflective lenses. I do not have any in my collection with blue in it. So I was so happy to have got this. And you can actually see in the clear frames it has the gold hardware on the inside as well which is absolutely stunning with the gold Vs as well. I do really love Gentle Monsters and if you think this is the last pair in my collection, you're wrong. There is more towards the end of the video. These are my very first pair of Karen Walker sunglasses and these are in a rose gold frame. And they are one of my prettiest pairs and probably one of the most used in my sunglass collection. And if you look at it, it has a beautiful pink hues on the lens and the frames has a gorgeous tortoise shell with her signature arrows going down the frame legs. I still use these quite a bit because of the gorgeous rose gold frames. 
Another pink lens beauty are these Dior Celliers that I got sometime in 2019 or early 2020. I actually wear these quite a bit and you've probably seen them in previous videos. They are so light shaded that I am able to wear them in videos and you can still see everything. I do love the whole 70s vibes that it gives out and it's my favorite lightweight pair. Next up are these Gucci pairs. I'm going to butcher it and they are called the Lave Ugle, but I promise you they're not ugle. Wow, why am I like this? But anyways, I really do love these quite a bit. These came out sometime in 2019 in a few colors. These are very much Chanel vibes and Chanel pairs of similar ones are on my forever wish list, but I do love how they have the little bees here is another pair of Gentle Monsters, and on this channel, we're never over Gentle Monsters here. These are called the Big Bullies with the gold frames and the silver lenses. These are actually my very first pair of Gentle Monsters and probably my most worn out of all my Gentle Monster pieces. And I bought this from Nordstrom, and I still till this day get tons of compliments from for these glasses and I love how they have the really thick gold frames all over and it's just really great it doesn't sit on my cheeks my very favorite pair of aviators in my collection and I absolutely love them of course I love the big bully so much I got the all black pair and the black matte frames with the black lenses my husband actually got these for me from Korea and I absolutely love them and I'm so grateful he was able to get it for me just a heads up guys Korea gentle monster is actually much cheaper than in the US there is also a rose gold colorway that came out when Shanghai gentle monster store open that is forever still on my wish list as well these aviators here are my only Givenchy pairs and I believe I had got this at Nordstrom as well. It was one of those things where I was just trying on random glasses and these just so happened to look really great on me and I really like them. I definitely had a moment in the sun with these and I still do wear them from time to time but I do love the cut of these. I don't have a frame that looks like this where it looks a little cat eyed so I do love this style of the aviator. The next aviator pairs are from Louis Vuitton and it has the monogramming on the lenses here. This is my very first Louis Vuitton sunglasses that I've ever purchased and I don't wear them as often because my face is a little bit too chubby for them and I feel like they are much smaller on my face than they used to be. And if you look around the detailing is amazing. They have the LV monogramming across like the edges of the lens and even if you look on the nose pieces as well. The craftsmanship on these are just so good and I think Louis Vuitton glasses are definitely worth the money spent because of all of the detailing. And on to my last pair of Gentle Monsters are these metal frame slash acetate frames and of course I had to get these because these are like my really true cat eye styled glasses that I have and I also love how it has a black acetate on the top and then a gold frame. I do sometimes think making these into regular glasses would be great but I do love the look of these as well. This is probably one of my only other cat eyes that I'm probably ever going to get. Next we have these white Gucci aviator styled frames. Wow guys, this is a throwback. This, this pair is probably about 10 years old now and I got these because my roommate at the time, she had a pair as well and I think hers was black or brown and I thought they looked amazing on her so I wanted to get a pair as well. Look at that green and red stripe on the front and also on the side of the arms as well. These are definitely my summertime glasses. They do touch my cheeks a little bit which drives me crazy but they're total summer vibes. Another oldie but goodie are my one and only Oliver People glasses. I was really obsessed with Oliver Peoples at the time. I don't know why, but these are my oversized round frames. I love them a bunch when I got them. They're very lightweight. I just never wanted to purchase another Oliver Peoples after that. I think I just, they're beautiful. I just don't ever want to spend that much on these again.
And last but not least are these beautiful round Valentino glasses. I actually got these from Bloomingdale's and I had like I believe a $300 store credit for spending X amount. So I really wanted round shades at the time. So I got these Valentino ones with the rock studs on the front. I do think these give off such Harry Potter vibes but a little bit more chic. I've never had a pair of Valentino glasses before so I really wanted to try them out. They're not terrible, they're they're just okay. I think I just got them because there was a expiration date on that free credit. So I went for these and I wear them not a lot. <laughs> That is all you guys. Thank you so much for checking out my designer sunglasses collection and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below which was your favorite pair or pairs and yeah that was it. If you guys haven't subscribed already please do so and if you guys haven't already liked this video go ahead and do that as well and I will see you guys next time. You guys are the Ellist. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa.